June 22, 2021 marked the 110th anniversary of the coronation of King George V, an event that was more heartily celebrated than any other day in Didge's long history, unless it was the wakes in the olden time. To plan and organise events for the historic day, a committee was formed, with Fletcher Moss presiding as chairman, incorporating a separate finance committee, sports committee, procession committee, commissariat committee, and general purposes committee. A souvenir of the coronation festivities was later published, which included a collection of photographs and an historical paper written by Fletcher Moss, from which these quotes are taken. The great glory of the coronation festivities of 1911 was the procession. Everybody in Didsbury was expected to take some part in it, either in work or money or both. 251 pounds, 12 shillings and 6 pennies was raised in cash. There were nearly a score of emblematic cars, wagons laden with villagers dressed in fancy costumes, representing ancient Britons, Druids, the Rush Cart, Peace and Plenty, the Union Jack, Brotherhood of Empire, Army and Navy, the Red Cross and of course a fine show from amateur gardeners. The procession wended its way to the playing fields at Ford Bank. There it dissolved into many parties, intent on sports and revels. The greater part sat on the grass of the natural amphitheatre, the maypole being placed at the bottom. The weaving of many coloured ribbons around the pole in a mazy dance was much enjoyed. A torchlight tattoo ended the revels as the long, bright summer's day closed. The country village where country folk spent their quiet lives has become a bit of a city whose money-making citizens, whenever they have a holiday, rush off in diabolical engines called motor cars to find a place in the country where the air might be as fresh as it was in the Didsbury of the past. Yet there are some fairly quiet places left in the Didsbury of today and under the shade of a cedar of Lebanon in the garden of the old parsonage in the intense heat of the Wakes Week of 1911, this account of the festivities is written. <laughs>